so concerned. Boop. A little schmutz in your face. A little schmutz. Is this thing on? <laughs> Whoa, how trippy. Let's move back. Whoa. It's pretty fun. Alright, let me change it. <laughs> Have you ever failed? Are you listening? There we go, that's better. Um, hi. <laughs> it's. Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know that one. Okay, but that's just my my normal uh, <laughs> annoyance with Alexa. Um, hey guys, it's been uh, a while. Uh, God, I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but there's been a lot of stress in my life lately. And good stress too. Not just bad stress. And um, I don't know. For a while, I've been wanting to daily vlog again, but not committing to it. But I think I need it for my own sanity and my own processing. And it would be nice to look back on because um, we have big things coming up. And um, I want to be vulnerable again. Is that weird to say? Before I forget, oh, I gotta fix the camera. Please go on Netflix and watch Say I Do because I kid you not, I am halfway through the first episode and it is so good for your soul. If you like Queer Eye, this is like times times five. The casting is perfect. Um, I actually, for whatever reason, stumbled upon Gabrielle's like Instagram like maybe about a year to two years ago, and him and I have like messaged back and forth a couple times and like kind of had like an online friendship. And lo and behold, dudes on fucking Netflix <laughs> is absolutely crazy. He's a really good guy, um, but the show itself and just it's beautiful. And I've been ugly crying. So vulnerability. We're gonna talk about that next. So vulnerability has been like an ongoing theme in my life and both good and positives have come out of that. <laughs> um, but I watched a TED talk by Brene Brown. You guys may or may not know her. She's pretty well known now and she spent a lot of academic studies and years studying vulnerability. And she said something that I thought was really profound talking about how heroes have to have vulnerability in order to be heroes, right? Because a hero by definition is someone who puts something on the line for something else, a greater cause for the greater good. And that requires vulnerability in order for that to happen. And a little while ago, maybe like six months now, I was talking to a subscriber who's a friend named Robin. Hi Robin, if you watch these videos. Um, I've known Robin since since I still live in the UK, so you're talking about like 2014-ish. I met him at, I think, one of the first ever um, YouTube meetups. It was with Will and RJ, I think, when they were doing that whole um, big tour thing around Europe. But not the second time, the first time. But anyway, um, Rob and I have kind of maintained contact and recently we were talking and just opening up and I asked him, w why have you stuck with this channel or all these channels all these years? Like, what? why you know because sometimes as a content creator you lose yourself right and you can see this evidently through my posting schedules and the channel is always about me being real and honest it's hard to to motivate yourself to show off your life if you yourself feel not happy about your life right so Robin told me that the reason why he stuck with the content that I produce for all these years is my vulnerability and it kind of, I don't know, threw me for a loop because I always try to be positive and I always try to show the silver lining, but it's the vulnerability and the real moments that I share that actually sticks with people. 
So I want to incorporate vulnerability and that journey into my life more and be more vulnerable and be present. Because I think that's what vulnerability is. It's sitting with that feeling in the moment and being accountable. So here's to vulnerability. <laughs> here's to me growing. Oh,